All right, and we are back in the lobby bar for the week of October the 23rd, 2023. Brian and Michaela here with you as we are getting awfully close to Halloween time. Michaela, the weather has cooled off, the pumpkins have been carved, and the flannels are flowing. <laughs> the, everybody looks like a lumberjack at my house. Um, yes. Yep, like a fall. Everything... What what is this about this time of year? Everything is now like in oranges and reds and like a deep purple and like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. lots of neon green too, which is weird. Um, I guess that's more of the Halloween than just the fall piece, but um nothing nothing like a good flannel to keep you cozy when it's freezing outside. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. Flannel is the uh, is the uh, word of the day here. So whether whether it be a flannel shirt, that's pretty good. A flannel jacket, flannel blanket. Maybe you're sitting out at like a football game on a Friday night, uh, taking in some high school football flannel flannel blanket, maybe. Uh, but what we're talking about today is the flannel cocktail. And there's a very good chance we might have talked about this cocktail 100 times. And I'm going to talk about it 100 more times, Michaela. I don't care because this is my favorite cocktail uh, that I get to make every year. Uh, it is perfect for this time of the season, I guess. I don't know. But some, something gets in the air and I just uh, I just start craving one of these uh, cocktails. And I originally found it on liquor.com, uh, which is uh, one of my top websites to go to to research, you know, cocktails and ingredients and stuff like that. Liquor.com. Go check it out. It's it's really great. Not a sponsor could be. Uh, but this cocktail, it came to me by way of an email a couple years ago. And I said, that sounds like the bee's knees. Let's try that out. And that's what we did. So what you're going to have to do first off, Michaela, is you're going to need some apple cider syrup. Uh, now, that sounds a little daunting. It is really simple. It just takes some time and some heat. So what you do is you take four cups of apple cider and you're going to put that on your stove and just let it uh, reduce down until you get about one cup of that. So you want to reduce it by like, um, you know, like four there, like 75% of that stuff is gone. And it just makes this syrupy, uh, very apple uh, tasting syrup. And that's what you're going to use in your cocktail. Uh, because there's there's some small amounts of things in here, Michaela. So, you know, really quality is key. So what you're going to do into a shaker tin is go ahead and put in a half an ounce of that apple cider syrup, a mm. quarter of an ounce of orange juice, a quarter of an ounce of allspice dram, and one ounce of cognac. Go ahead and shake that and strain it over a big ice cube, and you'll be good to go. Uh, so this only makes like a little like two ounce pour. So like I said, the ingredients matter here. Um, the allspice dram is something that you can buy um, in a bottle, or you can make it. I've done it both ways. I like the homemade version. You can look up online. There's a bunch of different recipes to do that. But basically, you're taking uh, like a dark rum, and you're just infusing it with some allspice berries for a while. That's that's kind of the gist of it uh, there. Uh, but put one of these together, sip it, and enjoy the flavors of fall i am so in love with this drink um i think the first time you made this for me was god maybe three years ago uh Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's it's become a fall tradition at our house because it's so good um this apple cider syrup uh people of all listen this this is the real deal right here this apple cider syrup is awesome and you can serve it with ice cream you can serve it in your um you can add it to your coffee um and it's absolutely delicious and it's different if you if you're not into the gourd tree bark spice that is pumpkin spice if you're not interested in that uh this might be right up your alley so i really encourage you (laughs) yeah you're not in the gourds what's wrong with you um if you're let if you're a slightly less basic bee then maybe um give this apple cider syrup a try because uh it's amazing and it makes this like the coziest drink i only want to drink this in front of a fire wearing something like long sleeves um all like with a blanket and marshmallows. Like I just, I want all of the things. Um, The orange peel is really nice too. It adds like this brightness. Uh, Pick really good orange juice, by the way. Uh, You Mm -hmm. don't have a lot of things in here. You are so right. The ingredients here really matter. So um, pick real, like good quality orange juice. Uh, I recommend little no pulp because of the drink itself. But I mean, it just Mm -hmm. depends on how farm grovy you want to go. Yeah, I always, um, since I'm using the uh, orange peel there for my garnish, I always uh, pretty much just squeeze out some orange juice there from the orange. You're only needing a quarter of an ounce of it, so uh, like a little bit's going to go a long way. Yeah, give this give this one a try. It's delicious. It is uh, warming and 
comforting, uh, just like your uh, favorite uh, flannel PJs. Uh, try a flannel and let us know what you think about it. And also let us know what you think about the one, the only Taylor Swift. Michaela, you and I went out and saw Taylor Swift, uh, the Eras Tour concert video this last week. It was a wild time. I have to say we had some cocktails. We got a friendship bracelet. We got a poster. Uh, we did all of the things. And guess what else? Everyone in the whole world loves this thing. We've not been talking a lot about box office stuff. I'm going to take a break from that because this isn't actually a movie. So Hollywood uh, executives out there, pay your people, please. Uh, please. But Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour so far, um, and I think it's only been in theaters like like literally like four days because it did like like the weekend and then uh, I think it was out like on like Thursday last week maybe so only like five or six total days it's already made 160 million dollars worldwide Taylor Swift there is nothing that she can't do uh, that concert was pretty spectacular Michaela yeah, it certainly was and uh, we're gonna talk about it in depth on our Patreon site so if mm -hmm. you are a fan if you're a Swifty if you're just like a, a non Swifty, but Taylor Swift fan. If you're like me, who apparently is a Swifty and didn't know it, um, you definitely want to join us on our Patreon uh, because we're going to get real deep, real, real deep. Wow. Wow. We're going to get, wow. <laughs> we're going to get <laughs> real going deep. back to Taylor's uh, country, country origins right there. I think. <laughs> Drew looks at me. Um, we're going to get real deep into the Eras tour and all things um, in that Taylor Swift. Uh, kind of video montage of her concert. Um, it was truly awesome. I highly recommend if you were not around to spend uh, either 15 hours uh, in front of a computer trying to buy tickets or not have thousands of dollars to spend on tickets, this was a close second. It might even be a first, depending on if you have knees like me, because I didn't have to stand for the three and a half hours. I could sit in the comfort of a of a, of a theater and, and cry with all of my Swifty fans alike. It was amazing. So um, join us on our Patreon site when we... Um, when we debut that chat because it's awesome and uh yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm so excited yeah for sure so you can go uh back and check i think it was episode or volume three of drink the music where we talked about folklore uh by taylor swift and then yeah check out the uh airs tour uh recap and review cocktail chat all that stuff on our patreon patreon.com slash drink the movies last week michaela we talked about fleetwood max rumors and the dance over on patreon that was a really good time getting into one of your all-time favorite uh bands and groups of people and songs that was a really good time and this week michaela we're doing something extra fun we are doing our own halloween spec spooktacular uh playlist uh we're throwing together some uh pretty creepy songs that would do well this time of year if you're putting together uh you know your your own little uh spotify playlist uh maybe come check these out and see what we have to say about these we have a really fun uh cocktail that's uh going to be calling for some smoked bourbon and some toasted marshmallows what doesn't sound good about that and what doesn't sound good about this week's votes we are live on our patreon to go make your voice heard what album are we going to be covering next week that is going to be uh a toss-up between Alanis. Morissette's Jagged Little Pill and Amy Winehouse's Back to Black. So uh, yeah, let us know what you think about those two albums. We'll be talking about that next week coming up with a good cocktail. Uh, you looking forward to getting this uh, Halloween playlist going, Michaela? I am so excited because we're doing something a little bit different, right? Uh, I, I I think uh, our listening listening viewers our listeners are going to be pleasantly surprised uh by mm. our choices it's mm. it's going to be something a little bit different uh perhaps a little more i don't know a little more artistic artistic mm. i don't mm. know um but definitely this cocktail is going to be amazing so stay tuned for that everybody because it's going to be awesome that's right. So that's what you got looking forward to on the main show this week. So stay tuned for that. So make sure you're liked and subscribed, all that stuff. Follow us on the social medias, drink the movies and uh, be alerted when those uh, drops come out. So uh, in the meantime, mix yourself up a flannel and we'll talk to you next time in the lobby bar.